in this video I am going to continue my series if two videos make a series all about how I use Roll20 in my fantasy role-playing game called Mithras. Today it's all about dynamic lighting. My name's Inwills and welcome to the InCrowd. If you have been watching our actual play videos on YouTube, this map will be something that you are familiar with. Yes, it is the Dark Tower where Gulliver, our sorcerer played by Chugga Wugga, um, had some startling realizations. Anyway, this is how I actually see the map, but the characters see it somewhat differently. If I select a token, let's just zoom in a bit here. So we can see here that we've got Bartleby's token selected. Now, if I press Control and L while having it selected, this is what Bartleby is actually seeing. And you can see that the light goes for a certain distance, then there's a bit of a um, dimming and then fading away and then the edge of the torchlight. You will also notice that as he walks around, you see the shadows of the columns and he can't go through this wall. Okay, he can't go through this wall. Now, this is what Roll20 calls dynamic lighting. And you turn dynamic lighting on but to by going to the page and then clicking the page settings. Now, I'll talk about fog of war uh, in a different video. Um, let's concentrate on dynamic lighting. And you can hear, see here that I've got dynamic lighting enabled and enforce line of sight enabled as well. Global illumination is, I think, is when there's sort of like daylight or something like that. And so it reacts like shadows, etc. So this is on. And you might be thinking, wow, you do this and then all of a sudden you can just click a button and all of a sudden this dynamic lighting occurs. Um, no, that is not the case at all. I have actually drawn on all the um, walls by hand. Now, if you go over here to the um, layers menu um, over on the left hand side, you can go down to where it says dynamic lighting. And if I go to this layer, you will see instantly um, all the drawing that I've actually um, done on this map to show where the lighting effects are going to be. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And in order to do this, let's pick um, a completely different map. Um, this is the first floor of the Dark Tower. The adventurers haven't been here yet. So hopefully none of them are watching this video. Yes, if you are, stop now players. Okay then, so first things first, um, we make sure um, that the dynamic lighting is actually on. I'm going to turn my grid off because I don't need it. And I'm going to click it on and make sure that restrict movement here is enabled. That will stop them being able to move through the walls. OK, then, and you'll notice that it goes a little bit darker at this point. And then I'm going to go over to my layers and make sure that I'm on dynamic lighting and I'm going to start drawing. Now, I'm not going to draw it all for you, but I'll give you I'll show you how I sort of like work it. OK, first things first, if I've got any pillars, then what I do is that I draw a shape and I like to do it either in red or green and I just left click and draw over the pillars like this okay and it's quite easy to do this not a problem at all so forth and so on and that will give the effect but when it comes to the walls what i do is actually go onto this polygon line um, option here okay and then what i do is that you literally start drawing now just to remind you that it's a left click and then if you hold down shift, it will make sure the line is straight. And I just click, click. Ooh, that's not very straight. 
click and then when I finished I right click and then that's the line done so I then have to come back to this click click left cl right click left click left click right click left click left click left click right click so forth and so on and so you can see it is quite labor laborious but the effect is well worth it now remember that the players will never see any of this it's all on a different layer now the other thing that you, you might want to consider is that on the dark tower if you remember the storyline um um a Zoic has been using up the wood of all the doors and the furniture to make wooden go golems. So there was no doors left. But if you do want to add a door, say for example, we have a door here. Let me just um, zoom in. Say for example, we want doors here. Now how I do this, I actually change my color to a, a different color altogether, so red. And what I actually do is I make a little L shape. Okay, then so I go click, 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 right click, like so. Now the reason I do this, and I saw it on somebody's video, it makes it a lot easier to remove it, okay, when you want to sort of like move out the way. Okay then, so once you've done everything, um, what, do you, what do you need to do with the characters? Well, let me just go and grab a character. Uh, let's bring Gulliver onto the scene here. He's a tad big. Um, hang on, we're just, I'm just going to delete him because I forgot that I'm still on the dynamic lighting layer. So let's go to objects and tokens. You can see now that you can't see anything at all. Let's bring it in and reduce him slightly like so. Okay then, so if you go to the cog, um, over here you have dynamic lighting, okay? And then what you can do is start editing the, um, the amount of light that is given. Now, I actually go into this advanced tab. You can do this. I don't normally use this, so I'm not sort of like familiar with it, but it does have things like night vision and, uh, emits bright light and I find this a lot easier when I want to do something like um, um, a fire or something like that. So I go into um, advanced and we'll set this at 60 foot say. Okay then and that's the light and then this last little bit is the actual um, faded bit. Um, so we can do optional start of dim there and then we have um, has sight and all players see light so this is saying that Gulliver can see the light plus all other players can see the light as well so if we click changes now you can instantly see if I just control L on him you can instantly see as he moves around. Here's the pillars that we did up here. But can you see here, there's this gap has the, um, the gap with the light going through, but this side doesn't. And that's because of the doorway. And so if they then went on and removed that door, then I would go to my dynamic lighting layer left click and just drag it out the way and then go back to the token layer and so Gulliver can actually see now through that doorway okay and that is really and truly it there's nothing more to it it does seem um sometimes it seems a little bit complicated um other times it it's not um at all but yeah, it does really give a, a nice effect and it also gives that unknown um, entity, that unknown, um, the characters are not aware of what's around every single corner. And it does mean that if somebody moves off too quickly, somebody else can be plunged completely into darkness. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, if you'd like me to show you anything else, why don't you put it in the comments below? Okay, until next time, I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.